Hey guys, how you doing? Gilbert Patino and Manny behind the camera. So today we're going to be taking a tour of this home. It's a 2,373 square foot home. It's a 455 or a little bit over 455. You can see the, the fascia. It looks really nice. They put a good amount of rock in the front. It looks really nice that the accents on the top and the different colors. And this is a three car garage home, right? You have this, this bay on the side. Yeah, this is a three car garage. Uh, it's a really nice motorcycle garage. It has its own entrance with this, its own hallway. It's really nice. We'll go take a look at it in a little bit. And you know, um, Gilbert, we, we sold one of these and we had somebody that put like a big playroom in there. Yeah. They added a pool table. They added a bunch of darts and stuff like that. So it's it can be turned into anything you want, pretty much. Definitely, Manny. Uh, it could pretty much be anything, your own personal gym. Another thing I wanted to touch on as a subject uh, is that we're, we're also realtors. So if you have any questions, you're looking for a home, you're looking to list your home, or you have any type of question, you can contact us. Our number is going to be on the video. Uh, also, if you have questions about what builders in town are, are the best or which ones best fit you, you can always contact us and we'll guide you in the right direction. But uh, one main thing is you got to look for uh, the builders with a good track record. You got to make sure they got plenty of employees and plenty of land. As you can see, this builder has plenty of land and that's one of the, the key features. Make sure they have land. Gilbert and mountain views over here. Mountain views are very important out here uh, just because we don't have oceans, we don't have beaches or anything uh, like that. Uh, but we have mountain views and that's what people like. Well, um, let's look at this. Let's home. go inside and check out the home. Look at this door, it's a very high quality door. So it's an eight foot door with a window? It's an eight foot door with a window. The nice thing about this home is that it has eight foot doors throughout the home. And I like those two windows right there that they did. Yeah, so that's another thing. You won't see this very often with other builders. I mean, look at the size of the window and the blinds. You won't see most builders doing that. What they'll do is they, they just won't put blinds in there. Um, but again, very, very high quality door with the window. A very uh, good amount of natural light coming in. And this foyer is pretty big. I mean, yeah. if you stretch your arms out, your span is six feet. So you're looking at least eight feet. Yeah, a little bit over eight, eight feet. So here to the right, you have the garage. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. But one of the things I want to touch on is, is that hinge up there. So the reason it's like that is it, it, by code, you're supposed to have this door that closes automatically. So if you notice, that's what the, the hinge is for. It helps the door close automatically. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that and a lot of older homes don't have that because it wasn't part of the, of the city code back then. That's and right. now, you know, just like many, many other things, new homes have, you know, new codes. That's right. So a good size two car garage. Let's head out and check out the rest of the home. And I can't wait to show people that other motorcycle garage. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's a nice garage, Manny. You know, I, I like them when they're joined, when you have the three car garages joined, but this is really neat. A good size laundry room. So this is more than enough, Gilbert. Yeah. You can fit your washer here, dryer here, and then you have that little bit of extra space, some space for your linens, like you said. Plenty of space for hanging shirts, for clothes, and then space on the top. This Definitely. is actually one of the bigger ones we've seen. This is one of the bigger ones. Uh, and again, the, one of the nice things about this home, Manny, is that it has tile throughout. So no carpet, tile throughout. That's gonna be in every room and throughout the home. And the closet's pretty big too, eight foot doors. Eight foot doors. Yeah, you're gonna see the eight foot doors in, in all the home, Manny. Good. Very nice. This is, uh, for me, I, I like the tile. Um, better than the carpet. Some people prefer the carpet because they like walking around barefoot and they like, you know, stepping on the carpet. 
but I personally like the tile. I don't know what you what you prefer. Well, I, I personally prefer the, the tile because you can always add a, a rug or anything like that and it'll make it a lot easier if you don't like the cold floor. Another room here, Manny, it's about the same size. I put doors on the closet as well. A pretty good size window and plenty of plugs. I mean, it's not a small room at all. You can see the size, I mean. So both of these must be 13 by 10, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, about 13 by 10. And again, you could tell uh, usually by the size of the home, 2,373 square feet. So that uh, gives you a good idea of how big the rooms are. What's in here is so this? We got a coat closet here, which is nice because it's right next to the door. Where it should be, right? Where it should be. You know, I've seen coat closets that are way in the back towards the, the backyard. Let's check out the uh, motorcycle garage or the smaller garage, Manny. So this garage has its own hallway, kind of private entrance. I don't know, man. I, I imagine a pool table here. A uh, um, pool table, workout room. Uh, you could do a lot with something like this. And the nice thing about it is uh, it can even serve as an extra room or, or guest room. That's true. That's true. It's definitely nice it just it doesn't need very much to be another bedroom that's if you right. add a mini split you know okay. add some nice flooring if you want and paint the walls and you're good to go that's right manny and then you have your drip system so what one of the neat things is that huge window you have in the garage manny yeah yeah that's um, nice i don't think I've, I've ever seen that to be honest but it looks really nice yeah, most garages don't have windows, right? And then there's some windows here at the entrance. You can look outside into your courtyard. Yeah, you got plenty of natural light with, with these windows. They're a good size as well, so that's something something very nice. Again, touching on natural light, look at the, uh, the skylight there, Manny. Oh, yeah. It's a clear skylight, adds plenty of natural light. Looks amazing. Very and nice this, accents added as well. I really like the colors of this kitchen. Yeah, the colors of the kitchen are amazing. And I mean, the size of this island is insane. Here, let me, let me get behind the island so you can see the size of this thing. I mean, this is huge. So uh, 10 feet maybe? Yeah, if you're a cook, this is a perfect island. This is a perfect kitchen. You can pretty much have plenty of room for anything here. 10 feet by five is my estimation. Uh, yeah, that's that's about right. I mean, we can bring a tape measure next time, but <laughs> we've been saying that, right? You notice the under cabinet lighting? Under mount cabinet lighting. Um, again, the, these cabinets here are a lot larger in, in width and in, in length as well. And they're all soft close. They're all soft close as well. And look at the angle of, of the outlets, Manny. They're angled um, horizontal. So if you have appliances you're trying to connect, uh, you don't have to worry about getting tangled or, or uh, making a mess with all the uh, the cords. And look at the amount of outlets you have. That's a lot. That's, That's a lot, a lot. For, for this. But you know, it's good because yeah. people have a lot of appliances. Yeah, that, um, that is right. You can you can never have too many. So this is a nice gourmet kitchen with a hooded vent that goes to the outside. So did I miss the dishwasher? Yeah, the dishwasher is on this side. And then you have your, your oven and your microwave which is a nice, it's just a really good setup the way that they have it here. So they're all Whirlpool. Whirlpool. You know, I've, I've had some people that prefer Whirlpool over other stuff. But before we go outside, look at the ceiling, the Vigas. Very nice beams, very good style, matching the front door, which is also nice. It's not something you see very often. Uh, four inch trim as well. I don't know if you can focus on the trim, but that's, that's gonna be throughout the home as well, four inch trim. Very nice. What's nice is that you have a conduit here. So if you're going to plug in your TV and you want you want to hang it up, you have your conduit. Uh, run so extra you can, cables. Yeah, you can run extra cables through there. And a lot of these builders, what, what people don't know is that they have backing behind the wall. They have extra wood so that you don't have trouble mounting your TV. That way you don't have to be, you know, trying to find a stud. Yeah, that's right. Let's go over here and check out the rooms, Manny. So you have another bathroom here. There's there's three bathrooms total. So tile all the way up to the ceiling. Your schluter again on the side. And the, the granite here, it's it's very 
very clean granite, very clean looking, very this, nice. This must be a level four or five granite, I believe. Yep, just about. Again, tile throughout, another bedroom here. And look at the, the lighting. You can always put a fan, which is nice. Another thing in there is that you have the, um, the switch here that, that will technically go to the fan. There's no fan right now, but if you wanted to add one, that's the switch that would go to it. You have right. a walk-in closet there as well, which is nice. It's pretty big. Very nice. And with the eight foot doors, I mean, it's nice. You, you could take a video of me here and you could see how small I look with these eight foot doors. They're huge. Yeah, and you have a few feet up and over you. Yeah, check out this primary suite, Manny. Let's check out the bathroom first. Huge uh, sink here, a double sink. Uh, you have a huge mirror as well, which is nice. It looks very clean and sophisticated with the border on it. So this one doesn't have the vanity, but it has extra drawers, right? Yeah, extra drawers, no vanity, but again, you have the extra space as well, which is nice. And uh, check out the border on the on the mirror. That's very sophisticated, it's very, very high quality. Yeah, I do like that. Some people prefer prefer not having that to make it look more modern, but I like that metal look. Yeah, yeah, and it matches it matches pretty much everything else, the finish on the faucets and everything. That closet's big, but show me that the shower. That closet is big, but check out the shower, man. So frameless glass all around. And the neat thing about it is that you can open your water here and you don't have to be uh, getting wet in order to turn it on. So you have uh, two uh, shower heads. You're gonna have this one and then the actual shower. That's right, shower see that. Now check out this closet. It's so linen closet your, right linen here, right? Linen closet here. Separate. It is separate. I like that it's you good can size keep. As well. Yeah, I like that you can keep things separate. You know, keep your linings in one closet and then any, everything else in another. Yeah. Again, a, a good sized closet, and you got plenty of cubbies. You got plenty of, of hanging space. You got your short hangs even down here. So you got plenty of space for everything. So that's got to be at least 12 feet. So if you stand over at the edge of the wall, yeah. From where I'm at to where you're at, that's at least 12 feet. Yeah, that's about 12 feet. Uh, again, plenty of space. You got plenty of cubbies and hanging space as well, and shelving space on the top. Also, 10 foot ceilings. You have extra lighting in here. Yeah, you got plenty of light. You don't have to worry about trying to do things in the dark, which is nice. Well, let's look at the bedroom. Look at the size of the room. I mean, it's 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 big. 16 by 16, very squared for 16, sure. For sure. Yeah. And, and I didn't want to miss the barn door. Yeah, barn door is really nice. You got a fan. Uh, the accents on the ceiling are really nice and plenty of lighting. You know, have just this tiny light or this tiny fan light that doesn't light up the room. You got plenty of lights. Tile also, that's... Yeah, tile, and then you got three windows, which is nice. And you have your connection over here for your TV, your cable, internet, everything. That's right. Let's check out the backyard. Um, it's probably one of my favorite styles of backyard the way that it is. This um, builder is known for getting lots and lots of land, right? With actually big home sites. They don't just do tiny. A lot of these uh, homes on this street, they're a quarter acre. That's um, right, Manny. Yeah, about 0.27 acres. Yep, that's right. So before we head out there, look at the door. I mean, it's huge. You got a huge door, a stackable, and then you have uh, another door here on the side as well that leads to the dining room. So if you want to take your dog out, or something, you just open that one rather than having to open the sliding door. Yeah, you know, that's to, pretty neat to worry about opening this one or, you know, if you're, you're dining or whatever, and you want to have a little bit of, of air coming in. You can always open that door. You know what's good about that door, Gilbert, that sliding door is it's it's pretty light. It's yeah. not heavy. Yeah, it is. I mean, you saw me opening it up. It's not heavy at all. Again, this is one of my favorite styles of backyard. Uh, you have the really high walls, so you don't have to worry about anyone jumping in or uh, the privacy issue that's one of my favorite things and you and see I, the wall on the right it's it's about eight seven to eight feet it's got to be seven feet and then yeah, the one on feet. the left is five and then up there where you see where you see some dirt you can probably turn that into a garden the neighbors if you notice over there they landscaped they added some stone but you can do the same thing add a garden i don't know i mean you'd probably yeah. need to build some stairs or a ladder <laughs> honestly yeah you can add some stairs now i don't know if you can zoom into the holes manny you want to explain what they're what they're for so those are not water draining holes, they're just weep holes to relieve pressure because we don't want the 
you know, the, like if the water goes into the soil, it might create pressure and crack the wall. So that's what those weep holes are for. And that actually is by code from the city. Before you can build a home and before you even build your rock wall, you have to make sure you include those in the plans. And then they'll come and inspect to make sure you did them. So anytime there's a big retaining wall like this, um, you have to have those. Okay, awesome. Did you see the patio goes all the way to the end there? Yeah, you got plenty of patio space. If you have patio furniture or, or you just want to add some chairs out here, it's a perfect spot to do so. You know, I saw a house uh, that we were uh, looking at and it had a huge hammock. I mean, it must have been a five person hammock. It was amazing. It could easily fit here. It would fit here. I mean, the possibilities. You know, you could have a grill, some seating areas. You can do one of those built-in grills. Yeah, one of the built-in um, grills. I mean, it's, I actually have a, a customer that wants uh, one of these homes down the street. We're probably gonna make a video on it. Okay. And uh, they just love the size of the yard. Yeah, you know, size of the yard, everything that's included already in the home, all the upgrades. And for under, actually a little bit over 450, it's an amazing price. Yeah, it is priced very well. Uh, again, with this, this builder, you get, a lot to choose from. Backyards are huge. The properties are, are very, very big. So, yeah, we'll advise. I mean, anybody that wants to build a home or buy a new home that's already built, uh, we do this probably 70% of the time. Uh, we sell used, we sell new. Yep. Uh, we help people build. We'll advise them. We'll help them negotiate a deal. So, if you're out in Las Cruces, out and about, and you see a home that you like and you want access to it, you want us to open it, give us a call. We do this eight to 10 hours a day, both of us. Yep. So we'll both be available. We'll, we'll rush anywhere you're you're at. It takes us. What does it take? About 15 minutes to go from one side of the city to about the other. 15 minutes. Yeah. yeah. So we'll be there pretty soon and get that that house open and and uh, probably on our way we'll come up with a list of more homes to show you. So. Yeah. All right, Manny. Well, thank you guys again for joining us, and we're going to be uh, doing a few more tours of several homes. So stick around and uh, thank you guys.